hi viewers welcome back to my channel in this video we are going to discuss about format specifiers in c language if you are seeing this video first time please subscribe my channel and refer it to your friends okay let enter into the subject format specifiers in c language what is a format specifier in c language format specifier specifies the nature of the data to be represented what type of the data we are going to represent that may be in the input or output format specifiers can be used in both printf and scanf printf is to print the information on the screen in the same way scanf is to read the data from the user format specifiers starts with the percentage symbol percentage symbol followed by the control string like percentage c percentage c indicates character percentage d indicates decimal integer percentage f means floating point number like that we have number of format specifiers format specifiers can be used both in printf as well as scanf the format specifier specifies the nature of the data to be represented in a variable to the compiler that format specifier informs your compiler informs your c compiler what type of data we are going to print or what type of data we are going to read from the user now you see some commonly used format specifiers in c language format specifier percentage c c stands for character percentage s s stands for string string is a combination of characters percentage c means character single character percentage s means combination of characters you call it as string next move to numeric data percentage d percentage d stands for signed decimal integer whatever the number system we are using that is called decimal number system our number system base is 10 so we call it as a decimal number system percentage c s yes, d we use it more regularly percentage f stands for floating point numbers floating point numbers nothing but real numbers integer value some dot some fractional value you call it as floating point numbers in normal mathematics we call it as real numbers for example 3.2 3.14 pi value etc all these are called as floating point numbers percentage o stands for octal number whatever the data we give in the decimal format if you want to print its equivalent octal you need not to make the calculations automatically percentage o will convert the given decimal number into equivalent octal number in the same way you can print it in the hexa format with percentage x x stands for hexadecimal integer hexadecimal base is 16 it has the numbers from 0 to 9 as well as decimal after 9 in the decimal we have no other digits whereas in the hexa after decimal we have a a, a means 10 11 b 12 c 13 d 14 e 15 f so base is 16 a b c d e f 0 to 9 plus G a b c d e f total 16 symbols so hexadecimal number system base is 16 next one is h i h stands for short h stands for short S short integer l stands for long l means long long integer e small e or capital e it is called scientific notations or exponent format plus e something like that we use it in the calc also when you are making large calculations in the calculator sometimes it is giving plus e 3.3 like that it is giving so it is nothing but exponent or scientific notations h u h means short u means unsigned integer short unsigned integer i means unsigned integer percentage lf double capital lf stands for long double double is a double precision percentage lu unsigned 
integer. PP stands for pointer. You will discuss the pointers in the coming videos. U means unsigned integer. P N N means nothing. N means nothing. If you don't want to print anything, just if you want to leave some blank space, you give percentage N. N means nothing. Percentage symbol. If you want to print percentage symbol, you give double percentage. Percentage symbol and then percentage symbol. So it prints percentage symbol. These are some commonly using. Thank you.